welcome to techflex youtube channel in previous episode we try to drop some database or table in this episode i'm going to showcase one argument which can be utilized uh, for the sql injection attack here i can see one of the parameter is category id one is pass pass two and we can see here uh, the product from the second category what if i inject this thing where id is equal to two or one is equal to one which means uh, either the id will be two or anything all the conditions are true now here we can see all the three products of the systems are shown here what is the benefit i don't have to guess one two three four five or all the products uh, all the categories i just have a condition in a query which is always true which mean it will match all the records and bring everything which is within the product table simple and straightforward this will help me crawl the website and get all the content really very easily okay now the second thing which could be uh, a, a certain which could be a dangerous one that is to get the current user which is used for the database and here i will inject this thing we can see here two and union i'm um, taking the union of both queries it selects anything something randomly and then the second one it is calling mysql database function which is user which gives the current user we can see here the current user is root and it is connected through local host because this is the local machine that's why it's showing here but if it was a remote thing it should have shown us uh, the percentage sign or something else so uh, that's how we got our um, username detail what if i want to get the username and password of all the users that are using this specific website or bank or something like that so that's really simple again with the union union join the result of two queries and that i will do right now okay so union uh, after the union select username and password from users field that's how i guess usually people have username table as a user or login or users and these fields are always username or password or uid or pwd so these are very common name so i guess those and i have written trial tried you know, trying to make the union of them and here we can see uh, some of the products and here we can see our two username and password that we here have here in the users table yeah john rambo and agent 47 so i got both of them here now i can log in with any of the users so let's try with the john my password and i got the access that's how much it dangerous is if you don't synthesize your input A and another important lesson we can learn from this thing is never ever have your password as a plain text because if you use them it's really easy to guess them or really easy to get them printed on the screen and then utilize it always always have some salt to the password always have them encrypted one something like that okay and uh, that's it about this episode let's take a short break and meet in the next episode